we want to simplify each expression completely and use only positive exponents in the answer. Notice in each case we have a polynomial divided by a monomial. When dividing by a monomial, we divide each term in the numerator by the denominator. So let's take a look at these one at a time. In our first example, we have the quantity 10d squared plus 15d divided by 5d, which is equal to 10d squared divided by 5d plus 15d divided by 5d. So because we have two terms in the numerator, we now have two fractions to simplify. So on the first fraction, we have 10 divided by 5, that's equal to 2. And then we have d to the second divided by d to the first. Because we're dividing in the bases of the same, we subtract the exponents. So we would have d raised to the power of 2 minus 1, which is d to the first, plus 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. We probably recognize that d divided by d is equal to 1, but applying the exponent rule, we would have d to the first divided by d to the first, which would be d to the power of 1 minus 1, or d to the 0, which is equal to 1. So we have 2d plus 3 times 1, or just plus 3. Next, we have a trinomial divided by a monomial. So here we'll have three fractions. We'll have 7x to the third divided by 6x minus 12x squared divided by 6x minus 12 divided by 6x. Looking at the first fraction, we have 7 divided by 6, which doesn't simplify, so we just have 7, 6. And then we have x to the third divided by x to the first. That would be x to the power of 3 minus 1, or x squared, minus 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. And then we have x to the second divided by x to the first. That would be x to the power of 2 minus 1, or x to the first, minus. Now here we have 12 divided by 6, which does simplify to 2. But notice how the only factor of x is in the denominator. 2 is the same as 2 over 1. So we have a 2 in the numerator. We have a factor of x in the denominator. This is considered simplified because notice how the exponent on this x would be a positive 1. So we don't have negative exponents. So our final quotient would be 7, 6, x squared minus 2x minus 2 divided by x. Now looking at this first term, I do want to point out that 7, 6, x squared is equivalent to 7, x squared divided by 6. Because we can think of the x squared as being x squared over 1. So I could also write this first term with the x squared in the numerator. But we'll go ahead and leave it in this form here. Let's look at our next example. Again, we have three terms in the numerator divided by a monomial. So we'll have three separate fractions. We have 160 x to the fifth divided by 5x plus 20x to the third divided by 5x plus 5x divided by 5x. So simplifying first fraction, 160 divided by 5 is equal to 32. And then we have x to the fifth divided by x to the first. That's x to the power of 5 minus 1. That's x to the fourth. Plus 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. And then we have x to the third divided by x to the first. That's x to the power of 3 minus 1, or x squared. Now again here, we probably recognize that 5x divided by 5x is equal to 1. But let's show a little extra work to be consistent. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1, so we have plus 1. And then x to the first divided by x to the first would be x to the power of 1 minus 1, or x to the 0 power. Notice how this is 1 times 1, or just 1. So we have 32x to the fourth plus 4x squared plus 1. Again, we probably can go from this fraction here to 1, but just to be consistent, I did want to show this step. And now for our last example, notice how we have a polynomial with four terms divided by a monomial. So here we'll have four separate fractions. So we have 24x to the third divided by 3x minus 51x squared divided by 3x plus 5x divided by 3x, and then finally plus 1 divided by 3x. 
So simplifying this first fraction, 24 divided by 3 is equal to 8. x to the third divided by x to the first would be x to the power of 3 minus 1, or x squared. Minus 51 divided by 3 is equal to 17. x to the second divided by x to the first would be x to the power of 2 minus 1, or x to the first, which is just x. Plus 5 divided by 3 doesn't simplify, so we just have 5 thirds. Again, we probably recognize that x divided by x is equal to 1, but just to be consistent, this is x to the first divided by x to the first, which would be x to the 0. Now here we have 1 divided by 3, which doesn't simplify, and we have this one factor of x in the denominator, and the exponent on this x is positive 1, so this doesn't simplify at all, we just have 1 over 3x. Let's go ahead and rewrite this term here as just 5 thirds. So we have 8x squared minus 17x plus 5 thirds, because x to the 0 is equal to 1, and then plus 1 over 3x. I hope you found this helpful.